Alright, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to LARP. We're back in here. I'm Mickey with Dicky, and we got a truck for Marcus, and we're gonna actually try to, uh, well, go to our first day of work and uh, see what happens. I got the loop flow. <laughs> um, what was that dig? Uh, I don't. I don't remember. I know he had us using the leaf blower. Yeah. When no, I want to. I want to know what the uh, what dig is. Oh, okay. It's a shovel. Come over here. Start digging. <laughs> this over here pretending the leaf flow alright man I'm gonna go grab the plant alright man yeah, you can just put the plant down right there oh it's that lady cop oh, that thing's gonna grow out to be a nice plant man yeah, I think so. Yeah. How many more we got a plant, they said? Uh, I think two more. We might. I don't know if they have any on the other side, but I know they want one of them right like, next to that front corner over there. I have to look at the list. Hold on. Let, right. me, let, me, let me actually go get the list real quick. All right, yeah, let's look at the list and see where they want to put these plants, man. All right, man. How's it going, guys? Yeah, what are you guys doing? Uh, we're we're working for uh, the DOT specialists, and we're uh, help cleaning up the neighborhood, potting plants, and uh, yeah. raking landscaping stuff. Community service type huh. deal. Yeah, that's the word. Hey, right, what's going on? Nothing. Just want to know you guys, John. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah no. Yeah, no, uh, we're not, like, imitating, uh, you know, Caltrans or anything, but they they gave us this nice truck, and it's got the lights on it, so we do stuff on the side of the highway. We got a highway vest in there, too. Gotcha. Uh, oh, yeah, let me get that list real quick. All right, man. Uh, let's see here. Slash. All right, let's see. So yeah, at the sheriff's Sandy Shore Sheriff Station, they wanted three plants. We already potted one. They wanted leaf blowing and raking. Uh, so one's in there. One's supposed to be in front, and then one is supposed to be at the corner near the pad mount and I think that's over here there's this door uh, the pad mount yeah I think that might be this thing right here this metal thing oh yeah like around here yeah yeah oh yeah like right here yeah that'd be a yeah, good spot about either either here or where you're standing at or we could we could do it over here don't matter all right, well, I'll start digging over here, man. All right, man. And it's, uh, if you want to bring out the plant yourself, it's pot plant, the small one. I got you, man. All right. But it's not drugs, though. No, it's not. <laughs> I just wanted to say that just in case. One of them heard, <laughs> heard you saying that. <laughs> right. Slash emote. Let's put it actually in this other spot. You e slash. Let's just start digging right here. Emote cancel. There we go. All right. There's one in here. All right. I'm digging the other one. Oh. Oh. Wrong one. <laughs> 
Oh, there's a cop sitting there. I don't know if he is this AFK, but. <laughs> They said that there was a trucker from what I was told by dispatch when I called him and asked where we go next. He said, sent about some some big uh, angry fat girl came in a purple truck and she threw a bunch of trash everywhere. He said it wasn't her problem to pick it up. Oh, what assholes, man. I know. They said that she was a woman too and uh, something about, she sounded like she was a fish or something. I don't know. They called her big, that's all I remember. Yeah, I think we gotta go make a ride up here and it's somewhere by the gas station. That doesn't look good back there. Look like that guy Oop. crashed. Dude. Good thing that was my truck. Yeah, it's right up here to the right, it says. It says we gotta clean the middle and the median, which it's gonna be dangerous, and we gotta clear this whole entire parking lot. Mm. What do you wanna do, the median or the parking I think I'll do the um, uh, parking lot. I'll grab the leaf blower, and then you got the truck, you could do the middle. Alright, man, this sounds fine to me. I'm gonna walk against the shoulder right here, hopefully, no one comes and hits me. It's He's, oh, he's got a canine. He stopped at the fucking other side that I was just walking down from. There's, there's another one, but there's a canine that just literally hopped in. Oh, here's another one. I think they're like, whoa, yo, what the fuck is going on? I don't know. There's uh, one pulled up and he got out. Then he got back in when I jumped back over the barrier. And here, here comes one next to me. I think. I don't know if he's gonna ask me anything. He's probably gonna ask you about the truck. How's it going? What can I do for you officers? How, how do you do? Yes, sir. Uh, do you, do you do you want do you want the real reason or do you want my reason? 
We want the truth? Okay, well, obviously, out of RP, that is a Caltrans truck. Okay. I only wanted it for the amber lights because, obviously, we're trying to do, like, you know, highway, landscaping, cleanup, stuff like that as RP. And there's, like, no really anything else that I could use. So I chromed out the truck because it wouldn't let me blur out any of the logo on there. So that's it. And I, I, already, spoke, I already spoke to the Caltrans guy because he asked me about the truck. I, I had the truck saved from the previous server from Ventura when I played as Caltrans. So, but yeah, in no way, shape, or form, I am impersonating Caltrans at all. We're not towing. We're not doing anything like that. So yeah, I just want so what so whether you got I'll let you guys know and you can let the other officers know. Uh, if you didn't know, I'm Dickie Cheese. That's Mickey Flowers over there. Everybody knows us. So um, where we were, you know, this is a part of our work order through the state and the government as our as our job. Yeah, 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 yes, yes. So we're out here just cleaning up everything. We just came. We just came from the. Uh, no, I appreciate your guys. I mean, we're trying to straighten up. We've been life of criminals for majority of our life. We're trying to straighten everything up and on the prim and proper. We just got done planting a bunch of plants and doing landscaping work up at the uh, your guys's police station out there in Sandy. Anything else? Yep, like I said, no no way, shape, or form we're going to be trying to do any impersonation for Toe or anything like that. I appreciate you guys. Thank you for stopping. Stay safe. I knew that's what I want to talk to you about. Hold on. Yeah, no, no, like, I, I, I get that, see, that, that's, that's the, like I said, that's the only thing I could find with, like, actual amber lights on the top, so it kind of sucks because I tried to go in there and change the livery, and it won't let me. I don't know if there's, like, anything else you guys could find that would be something like that. Mm-hmm. Please, like a like a DOT highway thing, or just like some I don't know. I don't even know what the badge is on on this uh, on my vest here or whatever this is. But or just something with like kind of like amp. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, yeah. I mean, hey, that's 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 fine by me. You know, I tr I tried to. I've been asking bites about that shit and. I haven't heard anything back. Oh, okay. So where would I go? Where would I go in Discord? Uh huh. Oh, okay. And is there an application in there or some shit? I appreciate that. For sure, for sure. I appreciate all that, sir. Ah, oh, sweet. Hell yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'll let him know. I appreciate you guys. Alright. Uh, not off the top of my head. Appreciate that, guys. Thanks for the heads up. All right, you too. Yeah. Uh, so it sounds like it's not an issue, but they were they were definitely curious. Uh, yeah, I, I told, like I like like I straight up told them. I said, no way, shape, or form. We were impersonating Caltrans. We're not trying to tell. I said we're trying to do like a, a government job as cleanup crew. And he said, oh shit. He was like, that sounds pretty dope. Honestly, he was like, I like that. And then the one dude. 
the secondary dude, and he was like, and he was like, I'm actually part owner of Caltrans. He was like, so if you guys wanted to, he was like, you could go into the Discord and go to operations and through the Discord. And he was like, and Caltrans is under there. And he was like, you guys can fill out the application and just do it straight through Caltrans and then work through Caltrans like a sim day. Uh huh. You know? And he was like, you guys could do that. He was like, it would also be nice for you guys to do something like that too. He was like, but he was like, carry on. He was like, we'll make sure we let all the other LEO know what you guys are doing. He's like, that way nobody gets you mixed up or anything like that. Or think they're going to stop us like what we're doing now. And I said, okay, appreciate it. Sounds good to me. So, I, I mean, I, I knew mean, that's what they're going to ask you anyways. Yeah, yeah. I, I That's why I, like, I straight up just told him, like, straight up. I was like, I'm not I'm not trying to dick you out. LLC Skybox. LEO, if you see a chromed out Caltrans pickup truck. The persons are using it for the amber lights because there there is nothing else in server. Okay, cool. Okay, hold on. O O C oops, slash oh slash O O C. Uh, uh, where's the little up button? Damn it! Ah, uh, really? What's up with this bullcrap, man? Throw down the windows, cause they're gonna yell at us if we don't. Seventy nine now, bro. Not twenty seven. Hi today, sir. Felix Yeager, California Highway Patrol, Badge number five nine one oh seven. The reason why we're stopping today is uh for one failure to yield and you were going about twenty under. Any reason for it? I mean we're just trying to stay above the law or stay under the law, man. Do what? Sorry? I mean, we're, we're just, just trying, trying to stay in good with the law, if you know what I mean, man. We're just trying to do the, the, the right amount of speed limit. Sir, are you on any substances? Negative. No, we're doing community service, man. Uh-huh. Yeah, we just got done talking with, uh, I think, Officer Strickland. Uh, we, we were over on the highway just cleaning up. No, no smoke. All right. Well, so you guys are just trying to. We're doing our community service. Right. I mean, you guys are just trying to not break the law, right? Basically, man. That's all we're trying to do. Yeah, because I'm gonna I be mean, honest. We're felons, and we're trying to change our ways. Yeah, right. we're 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 under a work a welfare type deal with the government. Yeah. Alright, well, so, I'm gonna cut you guys some slack. Um, whenever I get back in the car, you guys are good to go. I just want to make sure you guys wasn't, like, hurt or... No, uh, yeah, I appreciate that, sir. No yeah. problem, alright. You stay you safe. To work, boys. You too. Thank you. Alright, pull off right now. Just pull off. <laughs> I don't wait till they get in the car, I just pull off. This is working. There. Oh, okay. That's how. You, that's how you turn around. Something. Okay. All right. I just wait till my guy like does the where he puts the mop straight and try to get him when he looks right at the camera. I hate that it's so quick. There we go. All right. Let's see. Let's go to the gallery. Yeah. Hell yeah. yeah. All right. Bites. We're doing. We're better in ourselves. Tell him in a text message. But we still got to do while we're cleaning and the alarm goes off somehow. We're just clean, man. He, he's still no money. Did you see we got mops in our hand? We're, we're doing our community service, man. <laughs> uh. What is uh okay one one six? More menu. The uh, OOC starts uh, clean up at six.
there even a place to rob it in this place? Yeah, I think so. Who would want to hurt Grandpa White? Uh. Alright, I'm already mopping. I'm not sure if there's a place back there. If there ain't, just make a 911 call if there's not. Oh. Oh, you saw no, it? There's a, no, it just says sit. Yeah, make a 911 call. And put 911 report and put the address. I could always do like a silent alarm. Yeah, silent alarm at blah, blah, blah. And then, Oops. yeah, put silent alarm at our location and put like safe was being, trying to be broken into. But, but one, uh, I don't care who says it, but one of us could maybe out of RP if a cop asks us. But when we went back there, we, we were moving things around, cleaning. We were told to clean this whole entire store top to bottom. Because we did bad things back here in the past, and this is to well, work for our amends and whatnot. To show that we're sorry. Eventually in the future, when they do a city patrol, we gotta go to uh, fucking uh, to te tequila laws and make amends there. So we can get off the want it, band want it list. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, 911. Silent. Alarm. Made. At. <laughs> 116. <laughs> Mob two. Yep, I'm just stand here, wait for some cops to show up. Like, whoa, whoa, whoa. You're raking. I'm brooming. Oh, uh, you're sweeping. It sounded like a fuck. It sounds like a rake in my ears. You get a scratch on the floors. Huh? Just ruining the guy's floors that are rake. Like there was no broom in the back. I had to get all this dust. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh. Oh, yep. Yep, I hear more sirens in the distance. He's sending back up. He, he finally is like, no, there's two people in there. There's two cops. Where's mom? Mm. There's three. Yep, I see the third one just pulled up. Yeah. Two black and whites and one all white out one. K9 units here. Hey, we ain't doing anything wrong. I'm just cleaning this store, man. You can't walk around with that broom. Nope. Damn. That's... I'll just stand here. You stand there. I got good of you now. If they pull us away, just make sure we mute ourselves in Discord. If they pull us away, they probably won't. Mm -hmm. They've got guns, big guns out. I'm gonna get the emote menu ready so that way when they come home with the guns, I can cancel it and put my hands up. Like, whoa, whoa! I hear him. 
Yeah, I hear, I hear, uh, barely. Alright, hold on. I'm gonna mute myself. Okay. <laughs> Drop down to your knees. Oh, jeez. Second worker, walk out of the store. Turn around. Stop. Turn around. around. Drop down to your knees. What's going on, man? Drop down to your knees. He's trying, man. Our knees are weak. Yeah, my knees are weak. I'm trying. You're yeah, gonna get tased, least... dude. Drop down to your knees. Dude, no, I can't. My, I can't get on my knees. It hurts. Good buys. Eunice ready for cuts? I'm gonna stand again. Bites, is that you? Drop down to your knees. Hey, anyone else? I'm not going cuts? nowhere. I'm, I'm gonna, gonna light your ass up. I'm just... There's nobody inside. I'm just standing. I'm not going nowhere. I'm, I'm going to light cops. your ass up, dude. I'm not going nowhere. Taser, taser, taser. <laughs> I, was, I had my hands up. I wasn't going nowhere. Do not move. Ah, what the hell? Ah, that hurts. Ah. I wasn't doing anything. Alright, we'll, we'll investigate. We'll do a thing. We got a, we got a silent alarm at 116 for a... Robbery. Stop moving. We're just cleaning here. Where do where do me and the worker and my buddy over there? The only three people that've been in this store the whole time. I guess I'll be as ready as I'm gonna go ahead and search you before I put you oh my cardio. Anything's perfectly sick. Please stab me. No, I just got my ID, phone, and some food, left. man. Clear the behind the shelves. We're gonna take back door. Okay. Go go go. Hey, you guys don't need to have guns. There's no one in there. I'm telling you, I wouldn't lie to you guys. Just me, Dicky, and the the worker behind the desk. We've been cleaning the whole time. No one showed up, man. Okay. Hey, I'm gonna let you know because I just told my guys in Discord. Uh, if I pop, it's my internet. Okay. Oh, understandable, man. Just got water, some grilled cheese. The, I'm telling you, this grilled cheese, man, is good. I don't know whether who made it, but it. I know that's really why I always pick it up because it's so good, man. Lingo, just so you know, I have the suspect in the other compartment of your car. You can't. I have no. I just take him out. Okay. Mike, is that you? Uh, boot. Did he have anything on him? It should just be some food, man. Oh, yeah, the medical. No, 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 he doesn't have anything on him. Whose golden truck is that? Silver truck. Like, what is that? Alright, who has a cage that I can put this guy in? You can put him in the back of my car. Right over there. Uh, hey, 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 someone's asking a... Hey, officer. Who's the guy that got tased? You the one that got tased? I got tased. Okay, we got medical on route for you, okay, everybody? Hey, if you guys are asking about the truck, that's the truck we got from the community service office. Okay. We'll figure all that out, man. Um, are you feeling okay? Yeah, I'm feeling alright, just the taser punks hurt a little. That's okay, we're gonna get those out of you, alright? Alright, I do. Do me a favor and just take a seat on your butt. Alright. Yeah, I just can't get on my knees anymore. I got knees problem, man. 
Well, I know, man, but unfortunately, I when I tell you to get down on your knees, you got to get on your knees because we don't need you. We're not going to take you into custody if you're standing up and you're able to spin around on us. Yeah, but when I was in the hospital, I went on my knees and I broke one, and they told me that I can't get on my knees no more. Okay. I, I wasn't going to go right. nowhere. I had my hands up. I know. I know. It's just for our safety. And I know, man. Safety, man. That's all. It's not anything intentional. Well, you should know me. I ain't going to come after you guys. Hey, quick Who's question. This? Do you work? This is Mickey, work man. Mickey Sticky Flowers. You hear him? Yeah. No, oh, did you hear? Uh, did you hear this officer uh, right here? Do you uh, do you work for DOT? Or is that your truck over there? No, me and D well, Dicky came pick me up. We got that truck from the community service place. We already talked to people about it, and yeah, it, it's it's a Caltrans truck, but that's the only way we could get it to get the logo to kind of disappear out of RP. But no, like we're role playing as community service. We already talked to multiple officers. They they said that they were gonna form you guys. Okay. All right. Well, just curious. First, I've heard of it, so. Okay. Do you, yeah. do you know anything about the silent alarm that was pressed here? No, we we just came here because we we got to make our amends and clean all the places that we've done bad things and we're cleaning the stores. Just me, Dicky, and uh, well, the guy that was uh, behind the counter. Chief, uh, uh, from what I saw with the CCTV and inside, um, if they were cleaning, the safe was moved. The safe was tampered with. No one tried to go into it, but as in it was like moved physically. Um, possibly okay. will set it off. Yeah, I know Dickie was back there cleaning. Maybe he may have moved out on accident. Okay. That's not an issue then. We'll get these days of prongs out again. We'll, we'll let, let's see what we can do, okay? As long as you guys don't have anything on you, Mickey. Um, he's got two taser prongs on the left hand side, the side that you're on. Okay. Man, why don't you, come, you stand up and come over to the ambulance with me? He's got bad All news, right. so if you want to grab an arm, I'll grab an arm. What's right. going on today? You ready? Oh, well, basically, uh, he got taste. Um, uh, uh, my knees. Yeah, I know, man. I'm old. Yeah, yeah. Take a seat for me. Yep. You need help sitting back down? Yeah. Ready? Let me know when you're going to sit. Alright. Alright. Uh. Here, I'll get out of your way. Amen. Hey man. Just two, Amen. just two taser prongs. That's all, man. Yeah, that's there's, only. That's there's only. No, there's no gentle way to do this. So. All right, man. Just rip it. Hey, but you see, uh, uh, CC. Is that really? Yeah, I saw it. Okay. Is that really how you have to take them out? You just rip them out? Uh, that's good. You just like kind of wiggle them uh, out. So. There's no I really good way to hear me, but what I, I told them. Uh, is Don't they open up like already fishing knew hooks of and, or something like that, like the way the fishing hooks do? Yeah, that's why you push here, in and then pull out. We were moving around the safe, oh. and we never attempted to yeah, so that break way into the, the uh, safe. Prongs, we just asked him to clean it, and he said back yes. back inside, and then if you pull out fast enough, you can just... Uh. Ready for the rest one? Next one. Chief? Yeah. Let's get Chief first. Uh, he just has, he just has uh, Man, are you an addict or anything? I used to be. Would you like some morphine for the pain? Nah, I'm fine to be honest with you. I'm trying to, I'm trying to stay away from drugs or any. Okay, man, I got you. Oh, I asked. Uh, the chrome one. Okay, man. Marcus Van Dam. Yeah, that should mean. Oh, we do, we do. Me. I'll, un I'll uh, yeah, I'll unlock it for you. There you go, man. You should be all set. All right, thanks, man. It, it feels a little better. Ah, oh, he's all he's all good. Perfect. Ah. All right, say thank you, Mickey. Uh, thanks, man. I appreciate yep, it. No problem. Hey, come on, buddy. No problem, man. All right, thank man. You it should just have a it should all just right. have a bunch of tools and like leaf blowers and rakes in there, and then DOT paperwork. Like you don't have to put him in a car. Oh, I I just had him unlock the truck. Hey, mute yourself. They're mm -hmm. they got IDs for the trucks okay. and everything, and we're gonna put them. Okay. Cool. All right. Thanks, Chief. Thank you guys.
All right, can I grab the keys? Who? Hey. Yeah. Come over here, Mickey. All right. Glad to see you're working, dude. Yeah, I mean, we had nope. these jobs I for just, about a week. I actually just went over to the, right before this call was put out, I just went over to the 24-7 um, over there in Sandy. Yeah, we, we, so, we cleaned that one already, the one yeah, I got. Yeah, your, I got your photo, and I was going to come in and say hi and see what's up, and then I got a one call, and you guys were at it, so. Yeah, we came to this one. We made yeah, our rounds. Making your rounds. Yeah, we were in Harmony, we did the one on the highway already, we did Sandy, and now we're here. Polito's next. Okay. Alright. Well, um, I'm just gonna run your name. Uh, make sure that you don't have any outstanding warrants, which I know you don't, but... Yeah, I quit running after I saw Judge Bites. Good. Yeah, that, guy, that guy's a little scary, to be honest with you. Well, you know. Yeah, you're all clean and clear. Um, do me a favor. What I'm gonna have you do is, I'm gonna have you go over, um... You feeling alright? You slumped over here a little bit. Yeah, I feel fine. It's just my knees, I told you. Okay. Um, do me a favor, go over, grab your uh, identification, um, and your, not your identification card, like your, your work card, okay? Uh-huh. Just make sure that I take a look at it, um, and you should be good then. Alright, yeah, I'll go grab the work truck, uh, I mean work card out of the truck. Yeah, sounds good. Alright. Okay. Yeah, because, um, what you call it? Yeah, I understand you. Mickey, you sure there's no other way to get the logo off this? I mean, Dickie asked a bunch of other officers, like, on the highway, and they said that there was no way. Hello, Bites. Hey, Bites said he might have a better car for us, man. Oh, yeah? Yeah. How he... you doing? How you doing, boss? Hello? Is he there? Hey, here's my work ID. It's... Oh, thank you. Yeah, it's valid and everything. It's, uh, if you if you want to uh, mine, I, I know mine's in the truck too. Nah, y'all y'all good. Yeah, bites told yeah bites told me to show you guys. Yeah, I know what y'all are doing out here. You're good. All right. Yeah, but no bites was asking me if he knew that if we knew how to get that logo off the truck. I told him I said, "Well, you already talked to some people, and we didn't know how." He said, "Yeah, he no, they they chromed it out for us. I guess it was supposed to be an old retired truck. I guess I don't know." He said, "But he That's... said he said he's got something better for us." Oh, I mean, well, shit. If I mean, well, I'm I'm sure we'll have to clear that with Marcus because I mean he's the employer. Well, I mean we're just going through Marcus. Marcus is going through the government. Yeah, he's helping us out. What's the last name for that, Marcus? Van Dam. Okay. <laughs> I might know who he might be then. Maybe. I mean, he's a pretty popular guy. He does a lot of everything. Entrepreneurship, car dealerships, a lot of stuff in the city. I mean, he's had some mystery cases against him, but nothing was ever, like, he never was pleaded guilty for anything. No. Uh -oh. So I got a question. How do you know Chief Bites? How? He's always pulling us over. He's 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 the main one that always pulled us over, always took us to jail, and always tried to get us to do better. If you don't remember our last stint before we went back inside for a while, we we stole from we stole from the well I stole from the weed shop and then 
Mickey here stole the helicopter, and then we, we took off on that, and so, yeah, that was that whole ordeal. Allegedly. No, it, it, it wasn't allegedly, buddy. But, yeah. Oh. What the hell is that? Ooh. Oh, yeah, that would definitely be a better work truck. That. Just, uh, just be careful where you walk in it. It's an odd truck. Yeah. It's a public work. Yeah, we definitely need something like this. Is that better? Dead. Ten dead. times. Does it, does it have, like, amber lights and stuff like that? Yeah, right there on the bottom. Oh, shit. Hell yeah, it does. Yeah, this is ten times better. There you go. Thanks, I don't gotta drive around in a crumb vehicle. No problem, guys. Thanks, man. Yep, have fun. Yep. If you need anything else, just let me know. Oh, for sure, man. I'll give you a text. I, you can still got the same number, right? Yep, I got your text earlier. Oh, yeah? You seen the picture? Yep, I was. I told Mickey I stopped down to say hi to you guys, and uh, you guys weren't there, so you must have been up here. Oh, yeah, no. We, we've, we've got a big old list of everything you'll, going on. You'll have to mess with the uh, extras on that, and uh -huh. close the doors, open the doors, all that good right, stuff. I'm gonna go with okay. Okay. All right, see you guys. All right, bye. Okay. Can I do? You could clean the windows. They got a window. I was just looking for that. Uh, no, no. There's no window cleaning. No, it's in the regular modes where you can't walk around, not the shed. Oh. But there, oh, okay. but the, but there is one. I I don't know what it's called, but there there is one. And they pull out like a little hand towel and they wipe the window. Not legit. On my screen, the broom's going out of the fucking building. Window shop. Yo, Dicky. What's up? I was out there leaf blowing that garage door open. The mechanics in there were working on the van. It looked like similar to your old van, man, but it doesn't got your plate. That's that's weird, man. Yo, what? Yeah, there's a yellow van in there, man. And it's like your rusty one and the one that me and you used to have. It's bringing back bad memories seeing it, though. Yeah, but I was leaf blowing and the mechanic opened it up to get some fresh air. Oh. I was like, that looks like Dickie's old van, man, but it doesn't got your plate. One the, yeah, one of the very first ones, yeah. Yeah, it doesn't got your plate. I was like, wow, man. It just opened up. I'm like, it brings back, like, scary memories seeing these. Kind of does, man. I miss my van. Yeah, I know, man. I wonder if my truck is still where I parked it, man. We should fucking uh, take this uh, truck and take it back to the repo and go get my truck and I'll follow you and then... Oh! Oh, my bad. Yeah. And then we can go get some drinks or something. Hard days of work, man. Maybe we get RP we made some money and go out and buy you a new car. Go window shopping. There's a nice bike there. Maybe. Seat belt.
gas it on up. Right here. Oh, I put in grab check, not and. Oh well, who cares? I'm retyping it. Hey, Diggy, here's your check. Man, you made it. You made it. You made a fifty today, man. Yeah. It's nice. Great. You might be able to go get you a, like a junk car. I know you need one. Yeah. I've been keeping my eye on this Range Rover down the street. Yeah, we'll, we'll go to that new car dealership. That Benny's one we cleaned. I'm pretty sure they'll cut us a deal. Especially after we clean their lot. This guy with a sports car here at the Yellow Jack. Revving his engine. I want to hear a riv. Mm -hmm. Hey, old man. You got an ugly ass truck. Hey, my truck ain't ugly. It's fucking gross, brother. Hey, it's my only transportation, man. That fucking sucks. Get a job, oldie. I do got a job. I just got off of work, you asshole. What's your job? job? Yeah. My job? I work for cat. I work for the community, cleaning up like the highways. Oh, you're fucking Public disgusting, works. man. You're a piece of shit. I'm a piece of shit. No, you're a piece of shit. You're a fucking piece of shit to this community. No, you're a piece of shit to this community. You don't fucking belong in Sandy. Get the fuck out of no, here. No, you don't belong in Sandy. You get the fuck out of here. Fuck you, ugly ass bitch. No, fuck you. I'll pull that little fucking beanie off your head, old man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not your year anymore, buddy. Oh. Hey! Hey, what the fuck? Whoa. Well, I got into some road rage. Oh, yeah. Yep, I'm out of here. They got a fast car, though. I know they'll probably catch up to me. They're sitting there talking shit, calling me old, disgusting. I work for fucking picking up, like, and doing yard work and shit. And they called me disgusting, dirty. Tell me I, I'm a disgrace to this community. Is that you? Yep. Fucking assholes. Ooh, my fucking truck. Call me fucking names, piece of shit. Here it comes. Oh, it's a right to hand drive car. Unless you just park too close to your car and head get out that way. <laughs> oh shit, he's running this way. Hello? Hey, what's going on, man? Sir. Hey, I'm looking for a drink. I'll, I'll buy us all in. You buy you buy the next round. Sure, I'll buy the next round. Yeah. All right, let's go get a drink, man. Right. Hell yeah. Why do I feel like I don't trust this guy? 
Yep, well, that's RP. Alright, just give me a second. Uh, okay, Alright. Might be sketchy, but you just gotta go with the, the inviter. That's it. Oh, don't go out there. No. You want a drink, sir? I, I forgot to bring my my cash. Anybody here, shots? I don't know, but I'm not trusting this guy, man. He's being weird. Shots? No, I didn't hear shots either. Wait, what was that? Those fire fireworks. I think fireworks. I uh, you're just a bit buzzed. How, how, how many how many drinks you win? I mean, I don't know. Yeah. We had a few. Yeah, you're probably just hearing things. I didn't hear a thing. So, hold on. Let's all go back inside. Sound like a gunshot. I don't know. How about you bring the beer no. out here, man? You got two hands. You can bring two out for us. Or go ask him for a bucket. Yeah, go ask for a bucket. Bring a bucket out. A bucket is yeah, six. Alright, all right, I'll get that. Yeah, I, I don't know, man. It was Tristy's game, man. I kind of want to stab him. Yeah, I kind of want to stab him too. You want to? Yeah, maybe, maybe but we have to stab him. Let's go inside. Yeah, let's actually go inside. Uh, okay. I mean, if you want to. Hey, we're going to come in after a... Let, let's do it, bro. We got to bolt through it at the same yeah. time. Alright, hang on. How, right. how should we do this? I don't know. Did you get, did you get the beer, man? I... I don't have the money, but I need to go run back to my car, but how was your day? It wasn't too bad. I ended up oh. working. Whoa! Oh, no, no. Oh, I got oh, you. Got Fuck. Me. Fuck. Oh. Did I get you? Oh. oh. Fuck. Oh. Are you all right, dude? Yo. Get out of here. We got to get out of here. Hey. I'll drive your car. Here. I know you're probably hurt. Are you good to drive? Yeah. I just stabbed the fuck out of him, too. Wait, someone's getting in this guy's car. Is that you? Nope. Someone just stole this guy's car. Is he still laying on the floor in there? Is he still on the floor in there on your screen when you left? Yep. <laughs> get. Get. We gotta go, bro. Go to that cabin, bro, in the mountain. I'm blacking out, too. In my in my eyes, you still got running lights on, so they're gonna see you. You can't turn the running lights off. They're implemented in the fucking car. Oh wait, no, there you go. Uh, we gotta get out of here, man. That guy was being suspicious, man. Yeah, take dirt roads. Take dirt roads. Like out, man. Just don't die if you feel like you're gonna die. Just let me know. I got half half heart, so might be all right. If, if, if we could hurry up and make it to fucking Polito, you can go save yourself. Yeah, that or Sandy. Yeah, you could use the new Sandy one. We, we. That guy's being really suspicious, man. I, I just got nervous, man. We bought these knives earlier because Byte said we we're allowed to carry knives, and he was being really sketchy, man. I thought, oh, my, man, but you know, it's like thinking about stabbing the guy and actually doing it is two different things, and felt weird. I know, man, but I mean, you said you heard gunshots. I heard gunshots, and it sounded like it was in the building. And he tried saying it wasn't in the building. Then he saying he forgot his wallet, but then he had his like, wallet. He then he kept on going to the back. Right back. Yeah, like, so he was being suspicious. Fuck. I thought he was gonna kill us, man. I just feel scared, man. 
Now I just gotta wait. Eventually, I mean, if that gets called in, I'm gonna see something in the skybox soon where we bolt there. I didn't think it was gonna take one stab and he would have been dead. I thought it was gonna take more to be honest with you. To be oh, honest. So, I mean, it was one stab and he fell over and then I stabbed him and he had completely died. Oh, you stabbed him too? I stabbed him. Too. I, I didn't see that part. I must have got I out. Know, you, ran, you ran out and I was like, yo, I was like, you're right. And he's like, oh, oh no. And I'm like, uh oh. Uh, as, as soon I as I. To help. See, I thought I. Don't know how to help you, bro. I'm gonna just fucking stab you. Yes. Yeah, see, as soon as I ran out, I saw someone got in his fucking car. That's why I thought it was him. I'm like, hey, bro, is he dead? Like, someone just got in his car and they're taking off with it. And then you're like, no, I, he's dead. He was on the floor. And I'm like, I, I'm, I believe you and everything. But it's like, holy shit. Like, I saw someone got in his car. I was getting scared. But if he's actually dead. I think, I think I'm thinking, I was thinking there was actually a driver in there. Maybe, but, maybe he had a buddy with him. And there was two. Maybe he was trying to lure his buddy in there and they were trying to kill us or yeah. some shit. I'm gonna... Oh, hold on. Oh, yeah. T... Slash 911... Uh, um, I'm gonna go Yellowjack. Yellowjack is Pulse. 279. Mm. Man was stabbed at Yellowjack. And was ST. Alright, that 911 call has been put in. Hmm. I'm actually gonna go wait inside this hospital just in case they try to say something. Alright, you're done. Mm hmm. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, that was no other than Mickey and Dickie back in LARP. We did some RP during trying to be good guys and doing our community service and getting a job and trying to better ourselves because that's all Deputy Bites always tells us to do. You get to better yourself and we always apologize and say we're sorry and try. And we did actually did try this time and we did pretty good. Although, out of RP, yeah, we, we're the ones out of my ideal, like, hey, let's make one of the alarms go off at 24-7. We weren't going to steal nothing. We, we definitely were trying to be good. We just wanted interaction with cops and what what's... The best way to get interactions with the cops? Well, set off the silent alarm. And then some of the 24-7s on our server, they do have where you can go. And there's a code, and you could type in a random code. You may get it right. I'm not sure if anyone's ever, ever, ever gotten that code right. But if you get the code right, and the save opens, and you get the right passcode, I mean, I'm, I'm not sure if there's actually legit money in there you could put inside your inventory and whatnot inside the game. But... I know that there's a code, and the one way I didn't have one, sadly, but we did an one one call just to get interaction, dealt with the cops and whatnot, and Deputy Bites was there, he was actually ha happy to see us working and whatnot, and like, yeah, we're trying to better ourselves, you know, man, trying to better ourselves, like, we're tired of being behind this bars, man, <laughs> but yeah, other than that, then, well, it went from us being good guys, trying to be good, doing some RP to get interaction with the cops, even though we weren't doing no bad stuff to send us back to jail but we just want interactions and then it went on to dicky and me getting paid and then him getting a truck and then well then we go to the bar some guy's sketchy and yeah he he, he dies he, my buddy said he saw a gun i mean physically i don't remember seeing it but i did hear gunshots and it sounded like really close nearby and when i left the yellow jack at one point it sounded like i heard a gunshot come like behind me in my headphones and the guy was being suspicious got them saying no wallet had to walk behind the store of the 24 7 not the, the yellow jack i mean and then run outside the yellow jack and then we tried to leave and he's trying to get us to come back in and whatnot so yeah and then i, I eventually say when dickie's bringing up like the stabbing i'm like well then if we're gonna do it let's go back in and whatnot and like yeah we'll, we'll come in and whatnot and he was talking to my buddy and as soon as he said something about like he forgot the wallet. He's got, he, he doesn't got it. He forgot it. And he's got to go back to his car. And he was kind of like, I knew he was being up to no good and being sketchy. So, I mean, well, he got stabbed and whatnot. 
And then afterwards, there's a little bit more that happened after the hospital trip and whatnot. But a lot of the cops signed off right then and there. And usually our server is the type of server where when there's no cops on and there's only civilians on and it's it's that the server's like dying and it's getting to the last like five, six people around there, ten people, and there's no cops. Like that's when it just turns into GTA Online. So at after that part, I ended the video where I ended it because that. Well, that's good enough from my, from my standpoint. I uh, got a lot of footage recorded that was good and a lot of editing that I did. And I got a lot of good parts. And I put it all together to come up with this LARP video of Mickey and Dicky doing more community service. Which is basically a job from the government of LARP. And basically going around, we went working at the police station. We weren't working outside 24-7s, blowing their yard. We worked at the new... Uh, um, little MLO that they put replacing Larry's RV. We uh, none of their, we we did we done a lot um, of work twenty four sevens cleanings multiple twenty four sevens. So we done a lot, and we dealt with the cops. And then well, obviously towards the end it got sketchier with that guy, and well he died. So yeah. Other than that, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Mickey and Dicky here in LARP. When we come back. Maybe we'll be running again, and maybe it might be another Mickey and Dickie special, or come towards that, or I don't know. I mean, because obviously we stabbed someone, and out of RP, I do want to keep that going on. So next time me and him are in the server, it's going to be a 911 call, especially when I know there's a lot of cops on and whatnot. And when I see it, I want to do this when I see a deputy bite sign. And when I see a deputy bite sign and whatnot, you know, then that's when the call is going to be made. And I'm going to make sure I'm in the server with Dicky. And then that's when we're going to put 911, like Sandra from the Yellowjack, which a lot of people call the AI that stands back there. Many, many different names and whatnot. But I call her Sandra because the server that I watch on YouTube that's really famous and popular, they call uh, the bartender Sandra and whatnot. So I just RP that she's Sandra and whatnot. And yeah, so at a RP, I'll probably, and he'll put something. He was the last one in there, so maybe he'll put it because he did the last stabbing and I wasn't there to see it. I just remember me stabbing and leaving, but like we could put something back. Um, 911 reports that Sandra calls the police um, and she sent CCT footage over to the police station so the, detec the, uh, the detectives could watch it. <laughs> And basically say something about, like, you know, uh, two old guys in there talking with some guy that's walking around acting all sketchy. And if Dickie said he pulled out a gun and Dickie saw that and like, the guy pulled out a gun and if Dickie saw that and he said he did, I mean, I'm not saying I didn't see it, but, I mean, I wasn't paying attention. So, I mean, that could have happened. I mean, but in the video, if I watch the video and I see it, I'm not going to RP that I saw that because technically I didn't catch it with my eyes. I was busy probably looking at one of my other monitors or taking a drink or something when he pulled it out and put it back in really quick as possible so we couldn't see. But other than that, we'll, we'll figure something out. I know that we stabbed someone. So obviously in the future, something's going to happen. We would get caught. Our fingerprints are around the bar. We were there drinking for a while. And, like, and the lady kind of knows what we look like. She could put, like, some type of description out and whatnot, you know. So, yeah, we'll, we'll figure something out on the next episode of Mickey and Dickie. I don't know when they're going to come back. But when they do come back, we may be running. We may not be running. Who knows what's going to happen. It's always crazy when we pull out these two characters. Never know what's going to happen. Try to keep these characters good. Always something happens. Like, we were doing so good. And then towards the end, that guy was being sketchy. And I didn't have to stab him. I could have just left and so could a dicky. But, I mean, he was being so, so, so sketchy, man. Like, and I was like, you know what? He's got a knife. I got a knife. And I was like, screw it. Let's do it. And we stabbed him. And that's that's where she ends and then we go to the hospital make sure that dickie's all right because i accidentally stabbed him on accident and he got checked out whatnot and yeah so and who knows maybe in the future when we come back and make that 911 call and report and whatnot they'll say that yeah this guy came in the same day he had a stab wound and we took care of him and and then that was the same day that a stabbing happened down at the yellow jack hmm and maybe they'll be able to put two and two together because obviously if you go see a hospital you're signing yourself in so they know who you are so we'll figure it out ladies and gentlemen but other than that i'm not gonna 
waste your time anymore. I hope you all enjoyed this episode. If you want to see more and you're not subscribed to me yet, don't forget to subscribe. It really does help me out. I really do appreciate it all. I really do. Don't forget, stay tuned for more to drop, and I'll see you guys next time. Hey! Listen!